Hey, this is Captain Noob, and aren't you glad I am not posting clickbait Fallout 76 updates every day? Yeah, I bet you are. Anyways, this is a hunting bow, and looks like we're playing Skyrim today. I uh, launched the wrong game in the menu, apparently, but yeah, these things are bow and arrows. As such, they have custom animations, and they're okay, but they could be improved. Hopefully they are improved in future updates, but we'll get to them when we get to them. So this mod will give you a multitude of bows, which I'll just quickly explain now. So the short hunting bow here, or just the hunting bow, is basically your um, stock basic uh, bow and arrow there. And then you've got the infiltrator bow, which is a little bit more precise. It's even got a scope on that, very nice. And uh, the viper bow is that, except it's poison. As you can tell, it's got the poison little things there. That's, that's a good indicator of something's poison, if it's green and glowy, uh, unless it's radiation. Grenadier bow will shoot frag grenades, and it's got a nice little camo pattern on the arms there, I think it's what you call them. Inferno bow does fire damage, and it is red. Heart seeker bow, this one is bright magenta colors, and it will um, seek out your targets. Very nice. And you've got the Mechanist Bow, which is effective against robots. Think of it like a pulse grenade arrow. And a Blizzard Bow will do cryo damage along with it. I'd imagine it'd also freeze your targets too. A fairly large multitude of different standalone weapons here. Basically, they all sort of look the same except for the arms. And they all come with their different ammos to suit them. So, uh, there's not really that much customization. Once you've seen one, you've seen all of them. But you've got this receivers. You can make it light for less damage, heavy for more. Tuned will improve the rate of fire a bit, which is semi-useful on a, a hunting bow, and a calibrated receiver will actually give you a little bit more crit damage, so if you use this thing in bats, I'd imagine that'd be pretty good if you like to spam crits. And of course, there's usually nothing with a barrel. If it's a short one, it'll give you a short one by default, but if it's a long barrel, you get a little bit extra range. And for some reason, there's a stock option here, but that probably wouldn't do much since we're not going to be aiming through scopes, or they'll have no recoil because obviously it's a bow. But you can put a bayonet on it if you feel like it. I'm not going to do that because I feel like that sort of breaks the weapon. There's no actual attachment there. So um, I don't want to bash with the regular 10mm animations. But a suppressor you can add on to that. But I wouldn't recommend doing that because that will actually change your projectile to a suppressed bullet there. Which would be very unimmersive for a um, hunting bow to shoot out a suppressed bullet. But yeah, that's your options and a legendary effect if you need. I'm going to go and fix up the rest of uh, these bows in my inventory and I'll see you in Gunners Plaza. Okay, so it appears that the regular four bows aren't really worth using. The poison one, the precision one, the hunting one, and the other one. Yeah, not that good. But with this one, you get a whole lot of splash damage. And I'm guessing, since it is an explosion, the game subtly um, makes you benefit off Demolition Expert with it, which is pretty nice. So we're basically firing bay uh, not bayonets, molotovs at these guys, which is pretty decent there. We could actually get in pretty good damage with this now, so semi-viable. It's kind of like a grenade launcher but in bow form, which I guess is how you make these powerful um, to their equivalents in modern day age where we use gunpowder and bullets and things to kill stuff rather than um, firing these slow-ass projectiles. So yeah, that's kind of good. It's kind of like an equalizer, I guess. Alright. Looks like we can cripple legs with this pretty effectively too. Very nice. We'll switch over to, I think the frag grenade is, is this one camera? I can't really see that. No, that's the pulse one. Well, we might as well get that stuck into some of those turrets. I think I missed one up there. We'll get them later. And I think we'll pull out the frag grenade one. Yep, that's the camo on it. So this thing should explode like a frag grenade. A little bit of a... Uh, Okay, I'm not really digging the um, fuse on that, but as you can tell, the splash range is actually kind of big, so potentially if we could get a whole bunch of guys neatly packed into a corridor, can we get one over there? I know we can get one in there, come on. You. Yes! Okay, that was cool. Yes, yes. Um, unfortunately, it is an um, impact with its uh, detonation there, so unfortunately, we have to sort of put it in advance where we think they're gonna be but in situations where you need an immediate explosion I'd say the uh, Inferno one is actually a little bit better so we'll just take out that gunner there after we get one reloaded that's a very interesting thing about this thing it doesn't reload on its own you gotta always reload it yourself which is odd but in terms of um, how it works versus the ones in Skyrim obviously this one's a little bit um, fiddly because obviously not done by a professional modding team but I'm actually enjoying using this 
uh, provided we've actually got effective rounds. So what is this? I think I've got the Heart Seeker somewhere. We managed to kill that one. Hang on, I gotta find it on my hotkeys. I remember it was really pink, so we should lock on with this, I think. As you can tell, it's got no sights. Four damage. That's not even worth using. What even is this? Okay, that one needs a buff. Come on. All right, let's go for some Vats gameplay here as you... Oh, look at all those arrows going through you. Oh, we're crouched at the moment, so the animations don't really work. We'll stand back up and Vats Captain Bridget over here. There we go. That actually looks pretty good there. <laughs> look at all these arrows in your face. Oh, also, I'm about to die. Pop a stim pack before time runs out. There we go. I'll allow a use for the stim pack because Bridget's um, damage over time gun is very unbalanced and probably needs of nerfing, but you know what? How else would I make mini bosses hard with Fallout 4's AI? Stop shooting me now. I'm just going to wait until that picture goes away. Then I can get my arrow clean over it there. Very nice. Okay, we'll use this thing in bats a little bit more because let's get some more cinematic shots of me firing arrows into people, I suppose. Open this up. Try to draw this gunner captain out. She's only got a power fist. We'll go for a crit. Punches right through there. I think that's a mysterious stranger coming in. There we go. You got her. All right. We'll move on to these last couple of gunners. See if we can get some gun through action. Because, yeah, I feel like that would be not really suiting for this weapon. But we can hope. All right. So, one, two. Well, it's only the two, but we'll stack some more shots on. Actually, we should probably stack more shots on the lieutenant here. That'd probably work. Okay. Seem to be doing pretty well with this. I think this is definitely the way to go. Just with any explosive thing, make sure you're not close enough to the explosion for it to actually kill you, and you'll be fine. So, as you can tell here, this weapon is actually quite viable. This thing you can actually get on a chemistry station, as well as all of its arrows, so it's not exactly hard to obtain either. So if you're looking for a tribal bow person playthrough, I guess, that's a thing you could do with this weapon. If you really like Skyrim and are travel um, adjusting to the automatic weapons in Fallout 4, man, then maybe this is <laughs> the weapon for you. Oh dear. Alright, so that was the bow in Gunners Plaza there. A couple of these ones were useless, but they made up for it with the better ones, including the Fiery Inferno one. I do like that one quite a lot. Okay, we'll move on to something else. Okay, so apparently Swan lived yesterday, so let's go ahead and rectify this right now. I've got this thing loaded with cryo arrows, so let's shoot him in the face a little bit and see how well this thing does. As you can tell there, he's got an untextured twig somewhere in his body where you can't see, which is kind of an interesting little quirk there. So it looks like we're doing okay with this, I suppose. Although, without the suppressor, he's going to catch on to our bullshit quite fast there. And, um, for whatever reason, the, um things aren't actually detonating because again they're on some sort of timer there so if we fire it directly into him it's not really gonna work either is this poison arrows but I'm gonna need this vats protection so um yep if you could just slam that thing down there and then we can move on with our lives and never and forget this ever happened swan all right just kidding I'm gonna kill you but not with that one let's bring out the fire one again this is probably my favorite one probably the only one worth using to be honest and we'll get some more cheeky crits into you. This actually might take a while too because he is a tough cookie, this one. Yep, we're only hitting him for 256 there out of his 30,000 health bar. So, mmm, okay. I'm going to speed this up a little bit by changing the difficulty. For video purposes, I feel like having this sped up would make it a little bit more interesting to watch. Otherwise, I'm going to be plinking at him forever. But if you do want to try this with um, very hard with this particular bow, then yeah, you can go ahead and do that. I'm really not keen on doing that. But yeah, now we're getting like four times the damage we were getting in very hard because you get a two times multi uh, damage multiplier in very easy. So, um, just use your brains to figure out that this thing probably isn't that, um, uh, viable against giant monsters like this, which is okay because in the vanilla game you will never be facing these guys anyway. What is the point of crouching? I want to get these animations proper. So, yep, go in third person there and pop that. Keep on shooting him there. Dodge the occasional rock that is homing for some reason. Also, I'd like to point out the attention to detail in the... You can actually see your fingers move when you release the bow. How cool is that? 
that's something actually really cool. Also, I think that um, shot was not where I was supposed to, was uh, actually pointing before I tilted the camera around, so that's fun. Um, I think he's gotten himself stuck on a tree there, so I think we're about home free by now. So what better idea than to um, go ahead and shoot him in that a little bit there. Look at us, we're just pumping arrows through like Katniss Everdeen, like Legolas, like any other overpowered archer in those movies that you see. And you know what, I feel like that is about it for the bows, so actually a pretty nice and unique weapon. Something that I might even go around with in streaming if I feel like it, just for the memes, but yeah, I haven't had a Fallout stream in a while and I usually like to pick some weapons. Generally one of each class and I guess this could be called the Misk class, I guess. This is made by Goji28, this is the same guy who made that battle stuff with all of those cool ass animations where you flip kick around, and also the katanas too. So obviously this person is very, very good at what they do. They make some of the best um, custom um, weapons with custom animations that I've seen in Fallout so far. So very well done on him. If you've got Nexus, give him kudos because he needs to do more of this and him getting more kudos will make him produce more because, yeah, good stuff. If you'd like to see this thing, and my camera is out of... Um, center because I had to adjust it to use this weapon, but if you'd like to see this thing in your game, be sure to check out the description. Swan is dead once again, hopefully someone out there is pleased about that. And I'll link the companion mod for this current character in the description too, I usually do that. And I think that is about it for me. Ooh, too far in. Thank you for watching guys.